Hey guys, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Today we're gonna put one of my own hair tools to the test. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that by clicking this button right here and I'll explain the test to you. Hello guys, we are going to compare the Heritage by Mindy Catch the Wave DP waiver with a bunch of other waivers in the market. So we can compare and contrast to see which ones are better, which ones have longer cords, which ones are heavier, all that kind of stuff. Some people have asked me like why I would do a video like this. The short answer is it benefits me nothing at all to try to convince you by lying to you how great my tool is because then you're just gonna go buy it and use it and if, it, if I were lying to you, you would be like, well that sucks and then you would leave a complaint and a bad review. So I am straight up going to be as honest as humanly possible with you in my reviews. Granted, I put intentionally everything I love about a waiver into the waiver that I created. I'm probably really gonna like my waiver. I'm just saying, like that would be the obvious. I would hope I would like my waiver, right? But I am going to try to be very transparent and honest with you on pros and cons to all of the tools so that you can determine which one you wanna buy. Today, we are going to be testing the Allure waiver. I'll, I'll just show you some more about it along with side by side of what mine is. And then we're gonna do half my hair and half my hair. And I'm gonna post a picture on Instagram to see what everyone thinks they like the waves better on visually so that you can get some feedback from not just me. Here's our lineup for today. We have on the left, the Allure waiver. It comes in one inch barrels, a ceramic tourmaline. It has an LED display you can see right here. It's not soft touch, but it's not like cold plastic either. Oh, dual voltage on mine. It is also dual voltage, also LED display. It has the soft touch. I personally think mine's much prettier because it just has some little jazzy finish touches that just make it feel a lot more elevated. This is much more of a deep wave, like one barrel versus a three same size, same shape barrels like this one. I stretch the ends together and this is the difference. Mine is nine feet, I know that. So so I would wager there's a six. The Allure claims that it heats up in 60 seconds. We're gonna find out. Theirs is rating in Celsius. That's a little tricky if you don't know how to convert. And then what I'm gonna do is divide my hair straight flat down the middle and we're gonna start curling and see which side we like better. I don't know which one's gonna heat up faster. Theirs is climbing upwards in the count. And oh, look, mine's done. You just put it in and clamp. And I like doing bump up. It takes three on my hair. Also, mine is set to only have four temperatures. So it's just like incremental temperatures. 400 is the hottest. You can see there's opens more dramatically. The biggest difference I can see is that this one's gonna give you more of like even to like waves, which I don't love because they don't look as natural. Okay guys, we have the second layer done. This is mine. This is the alert. And we are going to move up and do it again. I am starting to see a very noticeable difference in the amount of volume this is creating versus this. This is falling much flatter to my face and this one's much more dramatic shapes. The Heritage by Mindy Deep Waver and the Allure Triple Barrel Waver. I like volume in mine. So I'm gonna do them both exactly the same. Run my fingers through. Whoa, sorry guys. That's test number one. So determine which one you like because we have other tools we are going to test tomorrow. Okay, folks, another day and another test. So we're comparing today Heritage by Mindy Deep Waver versus that I have two that are nearly identical and I'm only going to test one actually in my hair. Our three products today. First, we have the Heritage by Mindy Deep V Waver. We have the Hot Tools Professional. Uh, mine's sold at Walmart. The Bedhead Wave Artist by Tiki. Price point, $24.99. This one's $69 and change, I think, on Ulta.com. And my is $39.94. Okay, check this out. Can y'all see this? Do you see this bump 
versus this bump versus this bump. These two look like almost the same size. This one's much bigger. The bed head is plastic. It has a lock and unlock button right there. It has an indicator light. It has an on off switch and then a high low spinny wheel. Online, when I read about this one, it said it heats to 400. It did not say it was dual voltage and it said it had a six foot cord. Hot tools, this is their professional one. It has an on a lock unlock. It also has the on off switch. Their dial is instead of being high-low is heat indicated and it goes to 430. Online I said it's ceramic only. This one's ceramic tourmaline. This one is ceramic tourmaline. Theirs is a plastic as well, but it's like a matte plastic. LED indicator on off button is here. It does have the lock feature too. I, again, this one's just prettier guys. It's just prettier. The shortest one right there is the bed head. It said it was six feet online. This one says it's eight feet, which looks about accurate. The secondary black one, and that's the hot tools. The Heritage by Mindy UP waiver is that gray cord, which nine feet, almost identical. And there's a $40 price difference. Not sure it's gonna be worth the $40, just to try it out. I'm gonna test against the Hot Tools version. This one doesn't have any kind of indicator, so it doesn't tell me when it's hot or when it's not hot. You spin the dial and then sit. The Heritage by Mindy blinks on the LED and then stops blinking when it's hot. I think it's gonna be a little harder to tell the difference in the waves today because they're very similar shaped plates. Oh, mine stopped beeping. I mean, that feels hot. I can't test which one heated up faster because it, it doesn't show me. I'm having to assume that it's hot, feels hot. So I'm gonna go for it. I like bump up and I already put on heat protectant. This morning, hair is all good to go. You like these videos? If you like these kinds of videos, let me know in the comments below. I do like that you can clamp. Like remember yesterday, you couldn't clamp so I couldn't like put pressure on it myself. It was more of just like, I just hope that it was tight enough on your hair. For whatever weird reason, I am gonna end up with four clamps instead of three. There's our first round. On the back, they have these little lines. I was just noticing when I was holding it like this, probably designed for your thumb to sit there, but it kind of irritates my thumb. That wouldn't make or break whether I bought it, just something to note. Hey guys, we're on our last piece. Having now done a few little sections, a couple things I've noticed. The Heritage by Mindy waiver sits more comfortably in my hand. However, I did notice that, see where my thumb is on the bottom? I did at least once, like accidentally put it up a little too far on the under plate. It's a little hot. Like, like I, your thumb is fine here, but if you move down here where the plates are, it's a little warmer. It's harder to tell where that starts and ends on the Heritage by Mindy one. I know, I just told you that I didn't like the little etching on the other side of this one right here because it's uncomfortable to hold, and it is. This one's definitely more comfortable sitting in your hand. However, I did notice that that little like etching kept my thumb from scooching up too far on the under plate. So it's not as comfortable to hold, but it is kind of like a little like mental indicator, like, hey, don't put your thumb up too far or it's gonna be hot. We're just finishing up the last little bit. Overall, I like both of these better than the Allure yesterday. I like that they clamp down on my hair. I like the shape of the wave better. So for me, this is definitely the shape of plate I prefer in the spirit of being totally transparent with you guys because you know that's how I like to be. This one, the lock unlock right here. It's easy to use and one-handed example. If I had it locked, if I wanted to unlock it, I could just it with one hand, no problem. On mine, I have noticed, because I had done this once and it hurt. If you lock it, no problem. If you unlock it while you're holding it, no problem. But if you unlock it with one hand like this, it's something about the placement, like you're pulling down right here, in order to pull down, you have to have your thumb there. Like, see what happens. Pinchy, ouch. I feel like I was getting less curls on this side than this side. And this one is two and three quarters. Interesting! Hot Tools plate is just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit narrower, which is why I was getting three on this side and four on this. Overall, definitely this shape, a thousand times better than the Allure. Uh, so far, this barrel and shape wins a thousand percent. And remember guys, like in real life, I probably wouldn't wear my hair parted down the middle like this. I would flip it. See how much better that looks? And then you just let the curls be free. The thing is, is that it looks so natural. People are always like, is that your natural hair? And you're like, yeah, it is. Just 
Just kidding. You say no, it's not. It's my hair just made me waver. For the $10 difference between bed head and mine, mine wins. Hot tools, I think pretty close. They have a good concept here. Um, I dislike this softness on the bottom. I don't like that it's not LED and I can't tell when it's hot. I do like that it's an eight foot cord for $69, $70. Mine wins. Maybe a good secondary option if you want to spend twice as much money. Also, mine's still prettier. And I'm going to put up a picture of this and see what you guys think and I'll post those results here too. I'm probably gonna get asked the difference between ceramic, tourmaline, and titanium. Here's the thing. Ceramic is a really great metal. It heats up quickly and it also protects your hair from heat damage. It's a really good material to use. Tourmaline, it's a semi-precious like stone, but you can use it alone, but a lot of times it's added to ceramic. It produces negative ions, extra negative ions to help with frizz and add shine and silky like smoothness. Titanium is an actual metal. It heats up very fast and it's lightweight, however, it damages your hair. The best case scenario, in my opinion, is when it's ceramic tourmaline, because it's mixing strength of the ceramic, the quick heat up, and the heat protection with the smooth silkiness frizz spray. And on that random note, this is the side I curled with mine, and this is the side I curled with Hot Tools. Which one looks frizzier to you? I mean, I'm not dreaming this up, guys. I have done nothing. Which one looks more frizzy? Yeah, you're thinking what I'm thinking. Ceramic only. Ceramic tourmaline, just saying. Today we are doing our last and final waiver comparison. And I feel like this is the one that you guys are gonna wanna know the most. So we're doing, of course, the Heritage by Mindy waiver, deep waiver, and the Bondi Boost. Let me give you the deets. Ceramic tourmaline, you guys already know this. This one is saying on his website, it's only ceramic. This one is a, calling itself a triple barrel. This one's calling itself a waiver. This one opens the Amazon one day like this. This one's a push down. It looks like they both have LEDs. They both have swivel cords at the end and for cord length, let's check it. Happy to report they are both nine foot cords. They both say dual voltage on them. This one says on its website, instant heat up, whatever that means. For the record, uh, this one reads in Celsius. Oh, done, 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 done. This one's still counting. Now, I'm not gonna say that wasn't fast, but I don't think I would use the word instant. Let's go for it. My dogs are giving us a chorus here. And as usual, I've already put heat protectant in my hair, so we're all good to go. One of the things I did, it's cool. It's a workout for your fingers. I'm, I'm having, and then you have this flippy thing. I These bother me for some reason, just in general, because I feel like they get hot. So then if you wanna flip them up and down, it's like, Harder. I did get three waves out of this one. This is their 32 uh, millimeter. I have a smaller one too. This is a little bit bigger barrel, so I'm getting three out of this. Okay, I keep almost hitting this button. I haven't yet. Oh shoot, as I say that, I accidentally turned it off. The others must not have been as heavy because I didn't notice it being a concern for me, but this Bondi one is heavy. This is blah, really hard to open, okay. Yikes. Feels like forward heavy, like the barrels are heavy, which is probably why it's even harder to open because you're using one finger and it's like already kind of weighted forward. I'm having to really think about opening it. I don't know. I didn't feel this way about the Allure one from Amazon. So that's weird to me. It's really hard to open. Cool, 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 cool. And then I just add some dry shampoo at the top, you guys, and I'm good to go. Gosh, guys, that was the longest video to film. It took me forever and I had to wash my hair so many times. But I think it was really interesting to just literally side by side all of the waivers and see the pros and cons to each of them. Determine for yourself which one you think you want to invest your money in. If you guys have not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that by clicking right here. You can check out other uh, Fab or Fail videos by clicking over here. Oh, uh, I think it was super interesting to see the polls and which ones you guys chose because that's not my personal opinion coming into it. Yeah, straight up, check out the polls and and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week.